He an Instagram fighter. We don't worry about him. YouTuber. YouTuber, yeah. He's a pretty girl. That's what he is. And he only he, he just talk. No, no, Rolly didn't overestimate him. And this is this is boxing. <laughs> happens. This is boxing. It's not a, he didn't overestimate him. He was in phenomenal shape. Jesus, it's like Jesus was re re resurrected. I'll be back. I want to tell everybody happy Easter and thank you for supporting me and following me. Thank you. Wally Romero suffered an unexpected defeat against Isaac Pitbull Cruz recently, defying predictions, including those from Gervonta Tank Davis, who anticipated Romero's victory. Moreover, Tank has now exposed the blatant cheating during the fight, adding more drama to this ongoing narrative. When Rolando Rolly Romero stepped into the ring against Isaac Pitbull Cruz on Saturday evening, he was widely perceived as the underdog world champion in boxing. Despite this perception, Many anticipated his triumph over the Mexican fighter. Romero exuded confidence in the build-up to the bout, garnering support from fellow fighters and experts. Notably, Gervonta Tank Davis initially predicted a Romero victory, only to later backtrack and delete his supportive tweets. Tank's reversal of opinion has ignited additional debates within the boxing community. If you didn't catch the match this past weekend, Cruz capitalized on Romero's technical weaknesses to secure a TKO victory in the eighth round of their bout, which was part of the undercard for Tim Tsu versus Sebastian Fundora. This win granted Cruz the WBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Right from the start, Cruz exploited Romero's vulnerabilities, landing a hefty left hook to the temple in the opening round, causing Romero to stagger around the ring with wobbly legs. Despite this, Romero managed to survive the round without hitting the canvas. Throughout the fight, Cruz adeptly maneuvered past his height disadvantage by slipping inside Romero's wide punches and landing powerful blows to both the head and body. Even when Romero did manage to land some punches, Cruz quickly retaliated with strong counters, refusing to stay at the mercy of Romero's reach. Romero tried to impede Cruz's relentless advance by circling the ring perimeter and resorting to holding whenever Cruz closed ineffectively. This strategy backfired in round five when repeated holding resulted in a point deduction following multiple warnings. Romero faced another setback in the seventh round, where he was badly hurt once more. Despite managing to survive the round, it was evident that the fight was slipping away from him rapidly. Unable to inflict significant damage on Cruz or keep him at a distance, Romero found himself in a dire situation. Cruz, undeterred, continued his assault into the next round. Even after the ringside physician assessed Romero and indicated that the fight was nearing its end, Cruz persisted with his aggressive onslaught. A decisive flurry from Cruz once again compromised Romero's stance, prompting the referee to intervene and halt the fight at the 0.56 mark of the eighth round. After securing the victory, Cruz exclaimed with excitement, I am thrilled and deeply honored to clinch this title, not only for my beloved family but also for Mexico. I came into this fight fully prepared not merely to compete but to emerge victorious. My actions spoke louder than words in the ring tonight, and I dedicate this triumph not only to myself but to all those present at the electrifying T-Mobile Arena. Discussing potential future bouts, Cruz asserted, I am not content with just being a formidable fighter. With a title now under my belt, I am ready to take on any challenger who dares to step up. Bring it on. A Mexican champion will reign supreme in the 140-pound category for years to come. For Romero, the recent loss came as a stunning blow, and undoubtedly, he's eager to put it behind him and look ahead. Yeah, you did take more punches than you thought you would, so what went wrong during this fight? It's, it's okay. I, 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 I want to tell everybody, just thank you for coming out and... Uh, Leonard Ellerbay, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, provided a nuanced and thoughtful view of the fight's result. Ellerbe recognized the bout as a tough but instructive chapter for Romero, highlighting the inevitable challenges in the world of professional boxing. He praised Romero's grit and dedication showcased in the ring, underscoring that although victory eluded him this time, his display was admirable a testament to his unwavering passion for the sport. Elerbi emphasized Romero's thorough preparation and excellent condition for the fight, showcasing impressive boxing skills and strategy. However, typical of boxing, Romero veered from his planned approach, impacting the outcome. 
Despite this, Ellerbe commended Romero's courage in facing a formidable opponent and giving his all. Good, good fight. Very, very good fight for the fans. Um, Roley came up short tonight. Congratulations to Pitbull and his team. He fought a very good fight. When asked about Romero's future, Ellerbe exercised caution, refraining from premature conclusions or outlining specific steps. He stressed the immediate focus on Romero's health and well-being after the tough loss, indicating that discussions regarding future fights and career paths would occur later. This approach highlights Ellerbe's commitment to prioritizing the safety and recovery of his fighters over hastily planning their next moves. Ellerbe also avoided speculation about potential weight class changes or naming specific opponents for Romero's next bout. He reiterated the complexity of such decisions, emphasizing the importance of considering the fighter's physical and mental readiness carefully. Romero's defeat ignited Ryan Garcia's ire as he took to social media to voice his thoughts on the fight's outcome. He emphasized the unexpected twist where Romero, who was initially slated for a potential match against Garcia himself, succumbed to a knockout by Cruz. Garcia disparagingly referred to Cruz as a 1-2-5 pounder, not only highlighting the shocking nature of the knockout, but also implying a significant gap between expectations and reality. Furthermore, Garcia hinted that Romero might not be suited for professional boxing anymore, suggesting that he should consider transitioning to influencer boxing instead. This suggestion carries weight, indicating that Romero's career in the professional boxing realm may have reached a critical turning point following his loss. This sarcastic advice delves into a larger conversation about the prospects of fighters dealing with major setbacks, bringing up influencer boxing, a rising trend where social media personalities partake in exhibition matches suggests it is an unconventional yet plausible avenue for fighters aiming to revive their careers or stay relevant post-professional challenges. Despite the sarcasm, Garcia's remarks underscore the harsh realities of professional sports where one defeat can significantly reshape a fighter's future. Garcia's perspective offers a blend of personal insight and insightful commentary on the ever-changing trajectory of a boxer's journey. He hints at the importance of adaptability and a willingness to explore new avenues beyond conventional boxing realms for long-term visibility and triumph. This viewpoint prompts contemplation on the shifting dynamics within the boxing arena, where the distinction between professional athleticism and entertainment continues to fade. As for Isaac Pitbull Cruz, his recent triumph has opened a plethora of opportunities. His remarkable win has significantly bolstered his reputation within the 140 LB division, positioning him as a focal point of speculation regarding his next formidable opponent. With a performance that has captured the attention of both fans and analysts alike, Cruz now stands in a coveted position, with numerous potential matchups that could significantly boost his standing among the rumored contenders. One particularly enticing prospect is a clash with Subriel Matias. Renowned for his aggressive approach and formidable punching prowess, Matias could provide Cruz with an opportunity to demonstrate his resilience and strategic prowess. A bout between these two promising fighters promises to be a high-stakes, action-packed spectacle that boxing enthusiasts would eagerly await. Devin Haney stands as another potential adversary, offering a distinct challenge with his technical finesse and defensive acumen. Facing Haney would examine Cruz's adaptability and call for a more strategic game plan. A triumph over Haney wouldn't just affirm Cruz's status as a top lightweight contender, it would showcase his versatility in the ring. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia, known for his speed, power, and social media presence, presents Cruz with not only a formidable opponent, but also a chance for significant exposure. A bout against Garcia would captivate audiences, drawing widespread attention and potentially paving the way for even greater opportunities for Cruz. A second bout with Gravana Davis sparks excitement, as their previous clash was a pinnacle moment for Cruz. It's an opportunity for Cruz to showcase his progress and potentially secure a decisive win against a formidable opponent. As both fighters have evolved since their last meeting, anticipation runs high for this sequel. Despite the setback of losing to Cruz, Raleigh Romero's future in boxing holds uncertainty yet brims with opportunity. In the unpredictable realm of the sport, a comeback is always within grasp, highlighting the resilience inherent in boxing's landscape. Romero's primary focus in the aftermath will likely center around recuperation and reevaluation. However, his trajectory ahead 
presents a myriad of possibilities. Staying within his current weight class provides an opportunity for him to reconstruct and hone his skills. Conversely, transitioning to a different division could introduce novel challenges and prospects. Regardless of the path he chooses, Romero's boxing journey persists, offering the prospect of redemption and triumph still within reach. His resilience in the wake of defeat may serve as a defining moment in his career, transforming a setback into a catalyst for future successes. In the grand tapestry of professional boxing, this recent bout serves as a poignant reminder of the sport's unpredictable nature and the resilience required to navigate its highs and lows. As fighters like Cruz and Romero continue to evolve and adapt, the boxing world eagerly anticipates the next chapter in their respective careers, underscoring the enduring allure and drama that make boxing a sport like no other. So that's all from today's video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. Thanks.